Alright everyone, welcome back to Darkwood Alpha 6. Um, I'm really sorry about the frame rate in the last video. I used the uh, open broadcaster software with the NVIDIA encoder, which, since my PC upgraded to Windows 10 a couple of days ago, seems to have broken, presumably with a new driver update. So now I switched OBS to the x64 encoder that is really CPU heavy, but hopefully won't interfere with Darkwood. And so, with that, Let's go ahead and uh, fire up fire up our, our game. Now if I remember correctly, we planned to go to the underground entrance so that we can go and find whatever it is that we need down there. I don't really know what, what waits us down there. I mean, I have a pretty good idea playing the previous alphas and all, but the game has changed enough over time that Maybe they've changed how that how stuff plays out down there. Um, this is taking longer than usual. This is taking longer than oh, there we go. Kind of. Oh God, what's happening? Okay, good. That was. Yep. That. All right. Well, we're up. Right, right. Talked to the Wolfman already. Um, I did have to run back after the last episode and save, because you can only save at the oven, because it quick auto-saves when you leave it. I don't even know if that's a feature. By this point, I guess it is. It presumably auto-saves so that you can't undo your, your changes, your commitments, as it were, when you, uh, when you get some perks. But, alright, so we're just gonna go that way maybe check out the mushroom forest and get ourselves underground. See what see what awaits us there. We also have the chicken lady quest to go do did I loot this body already? Yes. Ah, loading. Saving. Alright. Cool. It's fine. So I didn't need to go back after all. Great. So where is this mushroom forest? I guess I'm in it. My inventory... inventory's okay. That's that's a decent inventory for now. Alrighty. You may have noticed I've also turned down the audio a little bit, because it was a little bit... My voice was way too loud relative to the game audio, I think. Or at the very least, it can be lower. Without compromise. I heard noises. Mushroom noises. Is that one? I can't really tell. Oh, no, no, no. Don't do that. Oh, yeah. That's... that's one. Oh. Sure. Can't even see it, but I'll harvest it. I have no qualms about that. Here, one more. There it is. Okay. Sweet. That's that's good. That's experience right there. I'm actually gonna hold on to them because in Alpha Five, when I last did this, ooh, that's not lootable though, is it? No, it isn't. What? What has health? That. Mm, that just makes me nervous. Um, I have no idea what my train of thought was. I just lost it completely, I'm sorry. Alright. I technically haven't found that location, which is the weird bit. Doesn't seem to be anything obviously useful. Any of these other places? Let's go fetch a bunch of wood, because wood, this game, is very important. Eh, only a couple of planks. Plenty of nails, though. That's good. Oh, what's... That is a horse or a cow. Maybe a horse. And that's a cow. So this is just some really old... Yeah, something bad happened here. I get it. That's nothing. Ooh, bear trap over the window. This is the place. I will find the entrance to the underground here. Good. We've done this before. Oh, that's less cheap than it used to be. That's good. It used to be kind of right next to the door, so that if you... It's still the case that if you bound through it, you're gonna get hit. But it was like, here or something. So you couldn't... You'd have to just nudge up against the door real carefully. And it was weird, because there's nothing at this point in the game that would prompt you to do that. Oh, oh scratch marks. Love that detail. It's a really good one. I still don't know what this thing is for. At all. Like, I, I can't read that. 
Polish, and I can't read Polish. Too far, you bastard. More mushrooms, lots of mushrooms. Lots of mushrooms in here. That bodes well. That, I am disappointed that I cannot interact with that. The entrance to the underground tunnels, dot dot dot. Okay. A dim light reveals the wet walls of the underground passage. The rest is covered in complete darkness. I need a light source to continue. Well, first of all, there's a corpse. A piece of paper with two locations marked on it. Hideout 2, well... Hideout 2 and Piotrix. Good. More wood and some rags. I'm most excited about the wood. So let's torch our way. Hopefully that is enough torch. I don't actually know if it's enough torch. The thick wooden stakes only barely hold the soaked ground along with the tangled up roots. The construction seems like it's about to collapse at any moment. Mm. This part of the tunnels is blocked by some overgrown tangled roots. And bugs, apparently. I don't like those noises. Those are bad noises. Going to the wall. These sacks are new. Those were added in a up oh, five actually, and I kind of like them. They had a decent like oh shit's weird touch to things. Corpse, empty corpse. I still don't know what this thing is. It has a weird stone in it, which, as far as I recall, has no purpose at this point. It used to be a way to upgrade your health and stamina, and now I think they do nothing because they ripped out that system. They didn't like it. Um, mushrooms. I will, I will harvest. Indeed I will harvest. Alright. Um, this is really dark. This is darker than there used to be lights here, right? Sacks. I'm gonna run out of light if I don't make another torch. I really don't want to make another torch, but I don't want to get killed either. So let's, yeah. Preference lists. They are a thing. Lost key. Oh, hey, I have skills now. One of them is not a skill. That's not a skill. Shadows are not a skill. Lost key. This huge metal door is still there in the underground tunnels. There are no signs of force entry on it, so it doesn't look like anyone found this place yet. In any sense, I won't be able to get progress further until I get back my key. So we want the key. Good. Torch. I have a flashlight. We haven't picked up a flashlight. So I'm going to... I know something about what's going to happen. I hate it. I hate this encounter. Uh, it doesn't get any better. It's always terrible. Oh, the dropper noises, no! Ah! Running. Running. Do not want. Do not want. Oh god. Oh god. Ah. Ah. Mm. I even know how to deal with chompers. I just do not, do not actually want to deal with one in that tight of a space. <sighs> oh, I really hate that encounter. They did well, those acid wizards. They did really well. That is genuinely, I have done that so many times now. And it has not gotten any less terrifying. Mostly terrifying because I never really try to face the chopper now that I think about it. Pretty sure that if I turned back and tried to torch it, I would actually I probably would be incapable of do let's take a chest. Chests are good. Chests are helpful. I am now holding a blight battery. But yeah, I, I don't I don't think you can kill it with the torch. I think you would the torch would not do enough damage. 
before it goes out, and then you're just in the dark with a chomper. Probably dead. Eh. No. Eh, whatever. Pick it up. Scrap metal I do want. Dog meat I do not want. I know you can throw it, and it's a way to, like, conserve your weapons or whatever from stupid dogs and stuff. But, eh, they don't really give me enough trouble. In my opinion. Ah, I do want that wire. I want it really badly. Why did this stack to six? That's such a random number. Six. I do want the fuel. Feels good. We got lucky with that, because I think, if I remember, we, we squandered all of our fuel in the last episode. No. Drop it. Cool. Is that another lootable corpse? Yes! More wire! Okay. That's... Oh. Oh, there's so much good stuff here. And I'm looting off of dead bodies, like some kind of grave robber. Is that... This is what Darkwood reduces a man to. Kinda. It's also implicit in all the game systems. It's not my fault. Systemic thing. Something. Th so, this is what it looks like whenever you step on one of those. So, something stepped on these. And is probably really unhappy now. I want to find it. Because it's probably a good good source of free meat. I do like meat. Is that a place that is not a... well, I guess it's that sketch. No, that's just stuff. I'm never gonna find that place again. There's just two perfectly good wires that I am just never gonna find again. Yep. Little bushes. Hate you. I'm suspicious of them. I don't trust them. I'm afraid they'll come alive and kill us all. Oh. Yeah, okay. These little bosks are, uh... It's interesting. Can't pick up meat. No room. Okay. Oh, I can't... I'm right-clicking trying to, um, turn off. If you right-click when you have the flashlight, you turn it off but you can't turn off the torch, because that wouldn't actually make sense. Wolfman camp, inadvertently, right next to... Okay, that's cool. They're all kind of grouped like that. Will I prove? Mm. Mm. Chances are low, but, you know, it doesn't really hurt to try. I guess it would be kind of cool if they made it actually hurt to try. Because, you know, yeah. Uh, not sure. He does buy the weird stone now, so that's cool. I'll actually have to look up on whether or not weird stones have any use in Alpha 6 that anyone knows of. It's at the moment. They haven't for a while, but maybe they do now. I don't think there's anything I want to trade him. Immediately, and maybe the torch. But none of this. Look, this. It's useless. But we can always hold on to it and trade it later. Um. Fire. Just makes me feel bad. Oh, the gas mask is a lot cheaper. It used to be basically, I think, 300 maxed out. It looks like it's now 200. So they did lower. I get the feeling they lowered the prices on a lot of stuff. How much is the flashlight, actually? That's, I think, more expensive. Or, or it hasn't changed. I think it hasn't changed. I think it was 150 for the small one, and 300 for the big one. Maybe it's just 200 now. Maybe I'm just remembering 150 because we got used to sell it. So it was always 300. The other one was even worse. 400 or something. Yeah, okay. I don't want to trade with you. He hasn't anything new to say. So, keep running around. The rain. It started. Did it start to rain while we were talking to him? Is that any time is still going now in the menus? I thought that didn't happen. 
These are also new, not the stumps, but just the stumps that aren't next to wood piles. They used to be a pretty like reliable indicator of oh, wood nearby. Okay. Huh. This is different. Is this use the cool? Nope. It's just here. Shut up, dog. Still don't have any weapons, really. I haven't crafted the plank of panels. Brook! Hello, Brook. Where are you? I don't see anything. This is just the edge of the map. So, yeah, the past few times I've played, the Brook is always the south. I wonder if it can be anywhere else. Oh, hey. Hi. Pulsating little sack. Hi. Get a drop of it anyway. Eh, that's a shame. Like, well, I can either look at it or attack it. So I can't look at it, so let's try attacking it. Oh, video games. And your constrained verbs. Scares me. I don't like the music. I don't like it at all. Is that a creature of some kind? Kind of looks like. I don't know. I'm pretty sure the trees are designed so you can just sh see shit in them. Well, alright. I think there's, there's a generator down there. Hi. I'll come back later. Something behind the chair? No. Okay. Well, what's that? No, I thought it was like the growth that damaged you, but I guess it's not. It's still raining. I'm just running around out here. No worries. It's all fine. Um, so there's just this like tiny brook in a house thing. So I guess someone used to have a house on the brook. Now, now there is not really any brook left. Ooh, what fire? Did the smoke looks good. Haven't really explored in this direction. Really more stuff to do in the first area. Oh, I found a wood place. I think we found this before. I have a feeling we found this before, but maybe that was a different file. I need to come and I need to pillage all this. So much wood. So much delicious wood. Oh. Makes me nervous. I gotta go find the one that I didn't take and extract it. Otherwise, I might miss it the next time I swing by. Oh, good. It's daytime now. It's clearly not end of day yet. Yeah, now it's... This... This... Tone map... Means... Means... Afternoon. So it's probably like 3 or 4 or something. Which means that it's gonna... It's gonna start getting dark very soon. But I don't need to rush back. I need to rush back when it starts to look, well, twilighty, which it's kind of starting to look like. Oh, I'm home anyway. Does the road not keep going? Oh, wow, I'm not home. What the hell is this then? Oh, it's the birdhouses. I should, I should focus on getting back though. I have a full inventory. I can't make use of this anyway. I still don't know what purpose the... Like, do they have like a animation now? Kinda looks like maybe they do. You're walking. It's probably a dog nearby. Yeah. I don't know what purpose those serve. Like, you can't loot the cow. They just get angry at you. So you can just like, kill three dogs? So I guess if you really want meat go for that, or maybe, but, you know. so much stuff, where, why, no, 
Stay away from me. Oh god. Oop. Don't go away. Shoo. solve it with violence. And then you didn't. Only I can solve things with violence. Because I am the strongest one. Yeah, it's getting dark. Real dark. Like, dangerously dark. Oh, there's gas. Even out here? How far does it stretch? Full up. Proud of that. It's getting dark. I am not interested in finding out why it is that I die without the gas. That is a mystery. One of those mysteries of the universe that I am happy to leave a mystery. Is it already nighttime? It's already nighttime. I can go board this up. Not. <laughs> Not make a weapon yet again. Okay. So this room is now basically safe. Let's see if there's anything else. Ah, oh, shit! All of them rotted. Wow. Stuff rots faster than it used to. Um. I think they only rot if you hold on to them too. So I'm gonna stash you, and because I can't do anything with you. Heard noise. There's a lot of that in this game. Heard noise. Oh yeah, we boarded that up too. It's kind of risky, but oh, 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 okay. It's just a villager. Nothing, nothing to be worried about. The worst has yet to come. It's okay. Whispering. No, not interested. Go away. Oh god, it is the shadows. I haven't had that event happen to me in a while. But I'm a. Uh, all right, which one's gonna survive? Oh, of course. Shiz? Ah, that's close. There's really nowhere where you can just kind of be out of the way of everything. Okay, so how bright is it really? Is it over? I think I'm in the dark. But I guess I'm not. Well, I guess because the shadows are already over. That was quick! It didn't used to be. It used to be altogether more terrifying. Oh! Hmm. It's all the same text from before. Okay, so that's good. I wonder if I can pass time this way? Wonder? What happens outside the gas, then? Okay, my only way out is to hit cook and let it refuse. <laughs> Alright. Options are to cook at the oven, or examine the oven. You know. up the things. I think this has continued to rot, but maybe at a slower rate? I can't really tell. 
I think I am carrying the right amount of things of the right types. I will make so much wood. That's kind of what I want. I, I've gotten into the habit of not carrying the gasoline and stuff, but I don't know if that's necessary anymore. Because it used to be before Alpha, what, like 3 or something? One of the early ones. It's been a little while. I think since Alpha 4, actually. Ooh. Why did the mist go away? Okay. Because the mist, presumably, now is actually the, the smoke from this thing. So that it went away made me very alarmed. But it didn't go away. It was just resting. So... For Alpha 4, there used to be a system where when you died, you would, um, you would respawn, you would lose the day, so you'd respawn at the morning of the next day, you'd lose a couple hours the next day, because normally I think the day starts at like 8, so you, but you would start at like 9 or 10 or something, and then, oh, good stay time, you'd also take a 50%, like, anything that has dur durability like this, would uh, take a 50% like hit or something like some some strong hit, and it could mean that you know you, you would you could lose ammo that way from handguns and durability on weapons and a bunch of other stuff that you do not want to lose, uh, including gasoline, which was very valuable. So you ended up just never carrying the gasoline until you needed to. Oh yeah, we haven't seen these three yet. These have been in since Alpha Five. Visitors stare at me in silence, as if waiting for my move. I could only hear the heavy breathing of the tallest figure, who was holding a giant bag. It reeks of mushrooms. Yeah, I guess, sure. It looks like they want to give me something. Trade. So, yeah. They acquire... This is cheaper than it used to be. It used to be 50, so you'd annihilate the reputation. Entirely. But now you could also, you know, save up... <laughs> the delta to get oh watch watches are so good i can tell what time it is and plan my day it's exciting but they're also really expensive and i don't think it's worth that expense as is toolbox toolbox means you can upgrade your um actually you can upgrade the workbench past a certain point you start needing toolboxes and you just need a million toolboxes okay hold on you before it rots Damn it! Ah! Sure. You can have them all. Ah, oh, that... That is so frustrating. Ah, oh, I couldn't cook them either. Oh, well. Lesson learned, I guess. That's less than they used to. It, it used to be that you could trade a couple of those... <laughs> for, like... They were like 3 to 2 or something. Or 2 to 1, something like that. So it's actually worth stocking those up, hoping they don't rot, and then trading them for these, because these give you a lot more XP, as it were. Let's pretend it's XP. Yep. Alright, yeah, they just they just love that rotten mushroom. I'm okay with that. That is the basis of trade. They love it. I mean, they don't love it. They're willing to take it, though. That's the thing that matters. Yep. Oh man, and all those, those... Nine! Nine! They give me eight. There's 72 squandered if we don't include the fact that I would have had more of them. Because uh, if, if the trade still worked out like I remember, I would have had more. Um, let's use... Oh yeah, thank you. Even more experience from trading it for a better mushroom. This was also a change that they did, where now it, uh, now I have to go into it? Oh, I miss being able to just use it from the outside. I thought that, that worked really well, in my opinion. Uh, okay. You know what? Let's finally... Nope. Alright. You used to be able to craft the plank with nails anywhere. Let's craft it here. I want to upgrade as well. Six. Eh, well, we have we have plenty of fuel, I think. Need two more. We got approximately that. Yep, just barely that. A 
upgrade. Yay! And now we can craft these things. Yay! Inventory upgrades. Ah, oh, that's awesome. I love that. And I love that it just... Ah, that it just gets consumed. That's great. That's really good. It feels great. Uh, how much? How many nails? I thought I had more nails. Just roll around with ten. For emergency boardings. I think I probably should run around with like three though. If I'm serious about it being for emergency boardings. Alright. That's good, that's good. Yeah, three bashes. I don't imagine I'll eat a lot of them immediately. And I also want to put the torch away somewhere. Because I don't think we'll be needing it anytime soon. Doop, doop. I'm going to turn off the generator. And I don't think I don't think I have anything else for them. So I'm just going to go turn off the generator. Now we should find out what we're doing today. Do we go to the burned houses? Do we try to get... I don't even remember where it was. Holy crap. I think it was somewhere over here. The wires and stuff. And there's... Near... Here... There's another, like, body... Or something. I'm, I'm gonna go over here. So I vainly attempt to drop a few, uh... Waypoints, which would be totally useless in this game anyway. Yep. We also go grab a ton of wood, but we don't exactly have the fuel to convert it all or whatever. So it's not really. I hate the moose. Doesn't seem like that great of an idea overall. Oh, oh. this is this is useful for sure. Ow! Come back here. I will not let this go. You deserve... You deserve suffering. Ah, come on. You smoking bastard. Eh. Uh. Eh. Uh. Look, it ran. Yeah, this thing. Could've used that to my advantage, at least. Something died. That was the sound of a dog dying. Way off. Oh! Here? Yes! And we get meat out of it, which is kind of what we want. We, oh, we're, we just picked up the scrap because we don't need to... We actually can't open it up. Alright, so... Yeah. What's up, nerds? Uh, all of you. Okay. I like how they're all like, yeah, yeah, kill him, kill him. Oh, wow. Wow, that was tasty. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. For the love of God, don't mind me. Okay, rags and stuff and more meat, which might be handy, but okay. This is exciting. Oh, is it over? No. Is it ever over? Did they actually consume it? Or is it is it like permabait? If it's permabait, then I've been underestimating <laughs> the simple talk meat for a very long time now. Mm, they don't like it when I run. They make angry noises. It's generally nerve-wracking. I'm gonna roam around up here a little bit because there is a connection to the old woods. I'm okay with... Oh, yes. This is cool. I like this thing. Come on. Ah. Oh, right, he doesn't switch. Oh, whatever. It's not worth... It's not worth hunting down the rabbit. Does not have anything that valuable. Okay, yeah. This, this lighting is afternoon lighting. Let's go into the corn maze, because the corn mazes aren't creepy or anything. Nothing bad has ever happened, or been suggested to have happened, in a corn maze. A corn maze is a real thing. Like, do they... is this like... 
Is there a lot of crap that a bunch of farmers just decide, like, eh, might as well have some fun with it. Oh, man. Can you see it? It's, it's somewhere in this direction. Search the crate. I've searched this before and been underwhelmed. Yeah, that's underwhelming because I can't use the bullets. Are not going to be used anytime soon, at all. Is there a second one? What's that? Is that a chopper? I'm just going to assume it is. I need to remember to turn that off when I do these things. Generally, well, I guess what I really want to do is I want to mute everything but the game. Just to make it safe. Well, let's just walk. You know, it takes forever, but... Yeah, there, there's one. There's something. See it? Just the black there. It's the same as the black over there. So there's two chompers in this thing. That is... Oh my god. Do I run? I'm gonna run. Sorry. They're far away enough. They can't hear me. I don't want to be in here any longer than I have to be. Uh, I knew there was one. I thought there were two. I, I, maybe, th maybe whether or not there's two is random. Because I'm pretty sure I've seen a second one before as well, but I haven't seen them in a while. Alright, so, what's over here? I think we're going to find out nothing. I don't want to go to the old woods just yet, because I don't... You know, there might be some supplies. Oh! Whoa! Did, did you appear, or was I just not paying attention? Go away. Leave me alone. Ah. Okay, fine. Resources on you. Tractor has nothing. See, that is unusual. Because, um. Spoilers! Pure Trek usually needs the tractor parts that you get from the tractors that are scattered scattered about the game, where there's more of those. And, um. There used to be parts. I'm pretty sure there used to be parts on. on that tractor. They've been shuffling them around, of course. There used to be. Used to be a part on every tractor, I think. Now there's a couple that, that don't have anything. Oh man. Okay. Uh, bottle. Bottle is useless. I never make the glass. Glass is about the only useful thing you can make out of it. Matches. No, no, not that. Matches. Matches are not so useful. Compared to gasoline. Happily, I will take gasoline over matches. I'm just gonna start rummaging through it and dropping it, then... So there's two wood piles, places, that we can, uh, come back to. I don't know why I always bother with this scheme. I always check the thing again anyway, because I don't trust myself to have actually done it correctly. So maybe I should just stop wasting time and leave everything alone. Rather than wanting to somehow mark them as, yes, I have been. Well, I guess that is a useful thing. I can now tell that, yes, I have been to this wood pile before. It would be enough to just loot a few of them to get that across. I don't need to loot all of them. I'm going to make a lockpick. Oh yeah, and this is also really cool. They fixed up the inventory. It used to be before that it, it wasn't smart, like it wouldn't figure out that... Oh, you're going to consume this slot in your attempt. Oh, we're here. Great. Somewhere nearby. 
is a body or two. Not here. With some really useful stuff on it. Oh no! No! Ah! Damn that hurt. Why do you hate me, Moose? What have I done to you? want to collect crap dead bodies. Why do you hate me for this? Okay, good. Ah! Well. Meat. Okay, I'll pick it up. Wait, how do I have slots for the meat? Yeah, I thought I dropped some meat. Yeah, I guess I'm confused. Yeah, here. This is it. Wire. I am totally dropping the meat again, briefly. So I can pick up the wire. The other. Give me that. Oh. Does that not work now? How do I. Oh, is that. Which one was cycle? Was it E? Ah, that's cycle. Alright. We can pick up the alcohol too. Can make a second lockpick, because. Yes. Alcohol. Alcohol is good. Alcohol is a good idea around some of that. I kind of want to not come back here again, so I'm just going to go ahead and leave the meat. Even though I've just discovered it's extremely useful, there it is. There's plenty more of it. The weird trees. Weird, crazy looking trees. Do you want more? Lay down a bear trap. If you won't leave me alone. So looks like we've done a pretty good bit of exploring, actually. We pillaged you? No. But we can't pillage you anyway. So... what else? Oh. Great, another waypoint. This has been one of the interesting bits about the map now, since you can actually tell where, some, where you are with some of these. Finding more places is useful because it can even help you when you're lost. Like, because you'll be close enough to one of those things for it to tell you, like, you're in, you're this thing. And then you can navigate from there whenever you get a little bit more lost than usual. I feel like it's sundown. I'll take that. Can I scare that rabbit into it? Eh, not worth it. Rather just take the scrap metal and be done with it. Yep, off it goes. Because it saw me. So I guess it has a vision cone or something, because... Oh, what's this? Uh, crows around it, but that looks like a fresh corpse. One nail. I think I will forego the one nail. Where am I? Oh, okay. See? Just like that. Right, like, because I had the mushroom forest, and I don't know that that's where I am. Because I totally thought that we needed to go up this way more. But if we're near... Maybe I'm right. Uh, yeah. I'm pretty close. So, okay. I'm gonna go deposit all our new... wood things. Things that we can use to eventually make wood. Actually, let's make some wood now. Let's go ahead and get, go through that thing, because why not? Alright, what else can we do? Why is that open? Did I open that? I hope I opened that, because I'm closing it now. Is there anything here? No. I know I dropped something in the, yeah, this special item. That's what that is, the special item spot. I'm gonna go ahead and deposit the gas then. Never hurts to have some extra gas on hand. Um, I kind of want to carry it around though, actually. Carry around some gas. Cannot use that, so might as well deposit it. Cannot use that yet. We don't need that many pills yet. Um, 
Yeah. The rest is uh Alright. I wanna deposit some of the these. It's nighttime already. Crap. this because it's just the last it's the last thing that I really need to do preparing this door it would be the next thing after that oh oh do you see me you say no oh crap Let's hide behind the door it'll be okay actually do I have anything else in my room too oh I should have deposited that I need to deposit that mm. Well, yeah, that's a better idea. Let's keep, keep it like that. So you just get the positive. Ooh. Are you flickering light? What was that? That seemed like it turned on. But maybe I'm just imagining things. Eh? Eh? Alright. Ah. I hear stuff. I do not want to be involved with that stuff. Where's the fog thickening? Don't do that. Don't do that. It's weird. Is this? Oh no. Okay, it's the shadows. So I'm gonna keep this door open. I've got two lights. Maybe three? I don't know. Did the game actually force me to run out there? It's gotta be one of these two that it uses. I, I can't drink the alcohol right now. I can now. But it prevents you from running. So if I wasn't... If they had killed that light, that would have been the light I had to run to and I had just taken the alcohol, it, it would have ended badly. <laughs> I guess I now don't need to take the alcohol. That was, that was a waste of perfectly good alcohol. Wonderful. So how far does it cast? Like? Yeah, I guess we'll never find out. Go away. More? What is this? No, don't do that. Ah, there's more. Maybe? I don't understand. There are no shadows, but the lights went out. Oh, there are shadows, okay. Is there a light on me right here? Or not? Yes, there is. Oh, oh, ow. Yeah. I don't think they can be attacked. That's probably not how those work. Why do I have a oh, because I drank. Right! That was also a newish thing they did. Oh, that makes a little sound now. I don't know if it did before. So much shadows today. Ooh, that door open for now. I just want to deposit my bottle in the crafting thing. Cause I don't know what else to do with it. Why are there so many shadow events tonight? It's really weird. Aha! Now they all go away. 
Hooray! We're saved. We could deposit that. Oh. Huh. I don't really know what else I'd do with it. Take a couple matches, I guess. Did I heal all the way? Or is that like the damage I took? Maybe that you only heal if you didn't take any damage during the night? I've been using this entrance a lot more than I normally do. Normally I just go out the front and circle around. Somehow, the fact that I don't know what time it is, that I can't rely on the well. Well, yeah, I guess I guess that's why. Because before I'd have to get to the well anyway, and it was always worse. Like the longest thing you could do is wait by the well, circle all the way around, and then come here. It's much easier to wait here. No one was well timed. Turn on the generator, go here, and circle back in. Hello, weirdos. All right, so I can trade with them again. They'll accept. Probably will accept bottles actually. Maybe I should. I, I do want the two mushrooms for now. Um, do I want wood? Do I have a real reason to want wood? I guess I could. I, I could always make that extra thing or barricade. I never use the front door now. I was going to the back. Get, get, no. You are not useful. You just attract monsters. Grab that bottle. See if we can't give it to them. I don't know what's up either. Ah, for ten. Sure, I will do that. I will take. Oh wait, I had enough for another extra mushroom. That is tempting as hell. But I don't really need. His hand just moved. I don't really need yet another. So, bam. All right. Now we get to complete. Now we get to pick our extra something new to to have. Um, I believe I talked about these already in the last video. This one, mm, I don't think we have an overabundance of mushrooms unless that's also been changed. So I don't know if this is a good idea. <laughs> that seems cool. But like I said, as you've seen, I do find enough maps, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with this one because I've already been hit during the night. So I have noticed, though, I believe this here is supposed to be our experience bar, and it doesn't seem to be filling up. I'm just gonna hold on to that can of pass, just in case. Just in case, you know. So I could trade with them for for an additional mushroom, which would be cool, or for planks, which, yeah, that was what we wanted to find out. What, how do we want to set this place up? Clearly need this room. You don't really need that room, actually. It's just desirable because it's one of the... Like, this room's always vulnerable because it just has that open. So we always want this room so that we can have somewhere where we can lock ourselves up and be kind of confident, you know. I can always go over here and just hide in the corner if I need to. Nothing can get to me here. It is my safe zone. I kind of tempted to move this over the bear trap so that I can block some visibility to that bear trap. I'd not be walking straight into it or something. Alright, yeah. So now that blocks some of the visibility and that's helpful. Um, but I don't have any use for you yet. It'll prevent them from getting in, but it does help them from spotting you from the outside and getting angry. And then you being sad. 
I think right now... I think right now I'd rather start to just keep saving up that extra rep, because we're always going to get an extra 100. You never know when we need, we're going to need something from them. Don't want to grab any of this stuff. Uh, yeah. I think what I want to do is I'm just going to board this up, because... Trying to use it, but not that much. It's, it hasn't been as useful as I imagined it would be. So, okay. Well, it's another, been another two in-game days, so I'm going to end the video here, and I think we have a lot to do. Next time I'm probably going to go to the burnt houses, maybe go after some of the loot I missed, and then uh, we can start in the forest, maybe. Jewel. That'll, that'll be exciting. Forest, forest is fun. It's a lot different than meta. And so uh, with that, I'm going to go and save. Well, we don't really need to, because Frank will save whenever we leave safety of the time zone thing. So once that happens, alright. Well, this has been days two and three of Darkwood Alpha 6. Thank you for watching, everyone.